Can you believe it's already time for back to school shopping? Welcome to the channel. My name is Amir and in this video we're talking about the best tech that you can get for going back to school. This is great for middle schoolers, high schoolers, and college students, graduate students alike. So if you're in one of those categories or you're shopping for one for someone in one of those categories, then this video is for you. And we're gonna start with the MacBook Pro. This powerhouse is perfect for high school and college students who need serious performance for research creative projects, and multitasking. With its stunning retina display, impressive processing power, and long battery life, it's a top choice for anyone who needs to get work done efficiently. But I'm also one of those people who doesn't think you necessarily need to get the pro if you're not doing creative content like graphic design, video editing, or the like. If you're doing something simple like homework, web browsing, even using applications that let you do a little bit of creative stuff like Canva, then the MacBook Air in my opinion, is the way to go. And I'm one of those people also who doesn't necessarily think that you need the latest and greatest MacBook Air. The one that came out during COVID in 2020, the M1 MacBook Air is still, in my opinion, one of the best laptops that Apple has ever put out. The price point is phenomenal, but you can also get the M2 or the M3. Either option is really gonna work for what you're trying to do as long as it's within your budget. But the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro, it's the laptop of choice for me as far as going back to school. Next up, check out the Apple Watch Series 9 or the Apple Watch SE if you're a little bit more budget conscious. Not only does it help students stay on top of their schedule with notifications and reminders, but it also tracks fitness and health metrics, which is great for balancing study time with physical activity. Plus the built-in GPS is perfect for trying to get around campus if you don't know necessarily where you are going. The Apple Watch is one of those products that works in sync with your iPhone. So all the notifications from your phone can go to your watch if that's what you need. So if you need to put something on do not disturb or silent, but you still need some important notification while you're in class, you need to send a text message to your student or some sort of notification is important that needs to get through while they're doing their homework or while they're studying, they get a quick notification on their watch, boom, they take a look at it. I, for one, have the Apple Watch SE, which in my opinion, it's the cheapest watch that they make and in my opinion, works really, really well for my purposes. I used to have the Ultra, phenomenal watch, $800 price point. If that's not your cup of tea or if that's too uh, high for you, the Series 9 or the SE, in my opinion, also very durable and amazing watches that work in conjunction with the iPhone to get all those notifications and all those features that you need from a watch while you're studying. For those who need a little peace and quiet while studying, the AirPods Pro with active noise cancellation are a game changer. They offer excellent sound quality and comfort and the noise cancellation helps minimize distractions in busy environments. So this is great for studying. If you wanna play some lo-fi music while you're in the library, you just wanna kinda of sit back and be in the zone and do some studying, phenomenal stuff for, for that. Also, if you're doing a virtual class and you don't wanna disrupt the people around you, you don't want them to hear necessarily the class, but you need to be able to hear what the instructor is saying or anything like that, they're great for Zoom calls, FaceTime calls, anything like that, and the built-in microphone is crystal clear. The price point might be a little bit high at $250, but Amazon always has deals on the AirPods Pro, as does companies like Costco, Best Buy, etc., Target as well. Now you need to keep track of those essentials, which is very crucial, and that's where the Apple AirTags come in. Attach these to backpacks, keys, or even notebooks to easily locate them if they go missing. The Find My Network helps you track your items with ease, giving you one less thing to worry about. Apple AirTags are great to connect to your wallet as well. So if you misplace your wallet somewhere, it's very easy to go back and find where you have put it. Or if, God forbid, someone takes your content, takes your backpack, you can go ahead and track it down, notify the authorities and tell them exactly where it is if you need it. Not a great situation to be in, but these are things that do happen in the real world sometimes, and it's better to be prepared than to be sorry. A strong and reliable internet connection is essential for online learning and research. So investing in a high quality wireless router is a must. Look for models with strong coverage and high speed like the Google Nest Wi-Fi or Netgear Nighthawk to keep everyone connected smoothly. So nothing can get in the way more of a great internet experience than a shoddy wireless router, right? You need something that is going to be able to sustain the fast internet connection that we all need nowadays to not only stream movies, but also stream live classes. You need something that has not only a fast download speed, but a fast upload speed as well, so that people can see and hear you clearly 
and not just the other way around. I have the Amazon Eero routers. Those are fantastic. Those have Wi-Fi 6 built in, but the Google Nest Wi-Fi is an excellent choice, something that I had in the past, and the Netgear Nighthawk always has fantastic reviews. Ergonomic desktop accessories like a keyboard and mouse can make a huge difference during long study sessions. Check out options like the Logitech MX Keys and MX Master 3 for comfort and efficiency. They're designed to reduce strain and enhance productivity. They're also customizable. So the MX Master 3 mouse for example there's buttons on there that you can customize to do certain tasks on your computer like open certain windows if you're in safari or view your desktop at a glance or even uh, customize it per application so if you're using an application uh, like pages or microsoft word you can do customizable mouse clicks for that if you're a video editor like me you can do customizable mouse clicks for that as well it's a really versatile mouse i can't recommend it enough little on the pricey side again, but one of those things that I think is a good investment instead of getting a cheapy mouse that's you know wired to a USB cable, you get one of these nice wireless Logitech uh, combination keyboard and mice. Costco also has great deals on them as well. It might go under the radar, but having a good keyboard and mouse is actually key to maximizing the potential of using your tech to the best of its abilities to the best of your abilities to get the most out of it because the more pleasant experience you have in using the tech, the more you'll use that tech for back to school. If you're a fan of taking handwritten notes or sketching, consider a digital notepad or tablet with a stylus. The iPad Air paired with the iPad Pencil is fantastic for note taking, annotating PDFs, and even digital art. It's versatile and portable, making it perfect for classroom and home use. I'm one of those people who thinks that the iPad Pro is overkill. I don't necessarily see the need of it specifically for back to school, but an iPad Air or an iPad Mini, fantastic uses, and you can definitely use the Apple Pencil second generation with it, the one that clicks onto the iPad and charges directly. No need for a dongle or anything like that like you do with the regular iPads, both the ninth generation and the 10th generation. But the iPad Air or the iPad Mini, fantastic iPads that I made videos about that I will link in the description box below. And you pair that with an Apple Pencil, either directly from Apple or get a knockoff from Amazon for about 30 or $40, will do the trick. And as far as note taking goes, there's nothing like it. I absolutely love taking notes on my iPad Mini. It's one of those things that I actually look forward to doing and is a great way for me to create a checklist and then check off those things as I go through them. And finally, don't forget about data backup. A compact external hard drive is great for sharing important documents, class projects, and multimedia. The Samsung T7 portable SSD is quick, reliable, and has plenty of storage space to keep your files safe and accessible. This is a drive that I use that I absolutely swear by. It is tiny. The fingerprint is so minimal, but it can hold one terabyte, two terabytes, or even more, which is perfect for all the documents and everything that you're gonna need to be using and having access to during your school year. It connects via USB-C to your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air or whatever laptop that you're gonna be using. And it is a fantastic choice that is high speed, minimal footprint, and very reliable. And last but not least, let's talk desktops. My two favorites are the Mac Mini and the iMac. This is not an iMac, this is just an Apple Thunderbolt display that is 10 years old and you can buy one on Facebook Marketplace for like $100 or $200. The Mac Mini is a small cube-like computer that basically does anything and everything I needed to do for about $600. So the price point is excellent. But if you want an all-in-one solution that includes a keyboard and a mouse with it, the iMacs are a great choice. And that 24 inches, while in my opinion a little on the small side, perfect for middle schoolers and high schoolers who need something that is gonna look pretty first and foremost, the colors are fantastic, but are also gonna be able to do their work, have the webcam if they ever need to do virtual calls or virtual classes or anything like that, Zoom classes, and will also be able to do all their homework and any creative endeavors that they wanna do with the Photos app or iMovie or anything like that as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I hope you have a fantastic back to school experience and an overall wonderful school season.